Hey everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to Intuitive Evolution. My name is Vanessa Cadornu. I am a psychic, medium, a hypnotherapist, an intuitive business coach. I started out when I was really young, stepped into it in my teens, became a professional in my 20s, and kind of hit out on the down low because it wasn't cool, it wasn't trendy to do this work, so it was a little scary. And also, I think that at that time, I didn't... Um, believe that the world could see someone who is intuitive or psychic is also somebody who's intelligent. Thank God things have changed. Hey Sue. And so here I am in the world doing my work, shining my light and supporting you to shine your light. I want to talk briefly about Moon and Virgo. Now when we think about Moon and Virgo, we talked earlier, Moon and Virgo will get us to pay more attention to our health. It's going to get us to pay more attention to our everyday habits, to our everyday work environment. It's going to invite us to look at how are we showing up in our mind? Because sometimes we think a lot, we think that we're doing things, we're overanalyzing, but are we actually taking the steps to achieve the goals? With Moon and Virgo, we can get too caught up here, with, I gotta do this and I gotta do that, maybe it's not gonna work. We have to kind of bring it in, right? And ground it. So how do we ground the Moon and Virgo energy of creation, of detail, of uh, I gotta do this and I gotta do that? taking that deep breath, finding a moment in time where we could write down some of the goals, review some of the goals that we've had. You know, we think sometimes that when we create goals in January, December, whenever it is, that it's going to stay true for the rest of the year. The truth is we change, right? We achieve certain things. We realize some things don't fit anymore. So spend this time, Moon and Virgo, because it's about to change. You know, we're going into a full moon in Scorpio soon, and that's going to be really transformative. So do the work now with the Moon in Virgo, Take that moment to breathe. Hi, AR everywhere, A A ARW here, or AR everywhere, or everywhere. I don't even know how to say it. AR where. Um, hi. Take that moment in time to really connect, review your goals, figure out what you're wanting to create, and then kind of backtrack. Sometimes we can be like, well, I want this. And then what we do, you start to backtrack. So let's say you're like, well, I want to be fit and I want to lose weight. That would be the goal. And then how are we going to do it? We're going to change the way we eat. Are we going to do get a Fitbit so we can walk more and like follow the steps? Are we going to meet our friends for belly dance? So in this Moon in Virgo, step into, feel into your dream, what you're wanting to do, your goal, and then backtrack and write down the details and make sure to be realistic about it, right? Because sometimes we're like off the deep end. We do too much. We're thinking we're going to be able to do 10 billion things in one day and then we get really sad. We're like, oh my God, I can't do it. And then we let it go. So let's be realistic about what we can do. Let's write out the steps and then one step at a time. All right, sending you so much love. And remember, because we're doing this still in a moon in Virgo, as we move to the full moon in Scorpio, we're going to be able to look at our lives more holistically, see what's working and not, and be able to release what doesn't serve and step into more, more of what does serve. Sending you so much love. Hope you like it and share it if you do. Bye.